Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use that will allow you to monitor all kinds of items on your computer. So it's called SysGage. So they have a free version and a couple pay for versions. So we're going to be using the free version. So if you go to their website, you can see the difference between the free, the pro and the server as a number of counters, monitors and so on. And then what it'll actually monitor down to about here. So here, here are the things that you can't do with the free version. But you can still do a lot with it though. All right, so it's broken down into several categories. So you have your system status that shows all kinds of information, processes, threads, handles, disk transfer. So this is kind of like a main page here where you get like an overview of everything, uh, free space and so on. And if you click these down arrows here, you could get different types of information from these categories. Just like that. Okay, then we have the CPU monitor. So you have your total usage, user usage, kernel, CPU usage, and then you have the same drop downs here. Then a summary down here at the bottom. Then you have your memory monitor. Memory usage, free memory, use memory. Then you can open charts as well from here. All right, process monitor. So it has the processes, the instance, the CPU usage, memory usage, threads, handles. And then once again, there are various things you could view here for charts and so on. All right, then you have the system analyzer. You could actually connect to a remote computer with this as well. All right, so here are our counters. Down here we have our processes. It shows you a grade. You can't do anything when you click on it, just to highlight it. And you can change the dates up here as well, assuming it has something to report on. All right, then we have the disk monitor. Disk transfer, disk read, disk write, disk activity, space usage. And a monitor down here. Then the NAS monitor for network attack storage, if you have such a thing, which I don't on this computer. Then you have a network monitor if you want to see your network traffic. And then finally the system monitor. So this will show you your counters, instances, what computer you're using, percentage, the average, minimum, maximum. Okay, so let's download a file here and see what happens. So we can see things are going up here. Okay, and then up here you could add other monitors that are not currently in the default settings here. You could edit the monitor mode here to connect to a remote computer. Delete monitor, save, resume, pause, reset. View any errors depending on which section you're on here. So it looks like no errors at the moment. Then you have some reports here. But I don't think you could do anything on the free version. Nope. You can't view them or export them. Then we have some options here. So general options, display options for your colors, uh, reports, how many reports you want to keep, uh, specific rules that you could add or delete or enable or disable or edit. Email notifications, sound settings, keyboard shortcuts, then we have some advanced settings here. 
Then if you want to connect to a SQL database and export your data, you could do that. Error settings, and then proxy settings. All right, then at the top here, import and export, save for ports, have some advanced options, which actually take you to the uh, regular options here. Self-test for the program. And that's about it. So as you can see, it's a pretty nice tool to get a general overview of everything that's going on all in one place. So I will put a link in the description where you can download SysGage and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.